welcome back to the vanity chair. Today I just kind of set up my camera and did my makeup for work. I was planning on doing a look with blue brown pigment from MAC because I've had a few requests and I really like this pigment and I've been wearing it a lot lately for fall. But then I realized today is the launch date for a bunch of stuff at my work that's like purples, golds, blues, so I didn't really want to wear this. I wanted to wear something more um, you know, in reference to the collection we're launching. So that's what I did today. I just kind of threw together a look. So I hope you guys like it. I like how it turned out. It's really fun and colorful, and I haven't done a colorful look in a while. I've been doing more neutrals. So I hope you guys like it. Once again, I've probably said that three times. And um, I'm in my robe the whole time because I'm actually getting ready. Usually when I do tutorials, I try to get dressed first. But you guys get to deal with my pink, fluffy robe today. So let's just get started. I'm starting off with my eyebrows today. I'm using this brow beater pencil from Urban Decay. I just picked this up last week. It's really intriguing to me because it looked the exact same as an Anastasia brow pencil, so I kind of wanted to see how they compare. Honestly, if it was in different packaging, I wouldn't even know which one it was. They're really similar. This one's a dollar cheaper, but they do offer less shades, so that's my opinion so far on that. And then, um, anyways, I just outline my brows with that, and then I fill them in with a powder. This is Omega from MAC, and I'm just doing an angled brush and filling in the inside of my brows with that. Now I'm using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. It's a concealer and an F70 from Sigma. I'm just underlining my eyebrow with a lighter shade of concealer than my skin is. This is going to help clean up our eyebrow, of course, and highlight at the same time. I've been doing this recently. I just switch up how I do things all the time. <laughs> I don't know. This is Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm using this as my eyeshadow base today, just with my finger. And then I'm taking two browns today. This is Bamboo and Soft Brown from MAC on a big E40 from Sigma, fluffing these around in the crease area as our transition shade. I just wanted to lighten up Soft Brown a little bit, so that's why I mixed in some Bamboo. Now I'm going in with Saddle from MAC. It's a mid-tone, kind of yellowy brown. And because purple, which we're going in with next, and yellow are complementary, I really like how this looks with purple. So that's why I chose to use Saddle today. So I'm just buffing this deeper in the crease area with a little bit of a smaller buffing kind of blending brush from Sigma. I forget the exact name. I will link it below for sure. And then take that big fluffy one you were using earlier and just blend those browns together just to make sure everything's nice and blended and nothing looks choppy. This next shade is our star of the show. It's the purple we're going to use. This is called Caitlin Rose. It's a foiled shadow from Makeup Geek. I bought mine in a big kit, but I believe they're around $10 to buy singly. And I'm just putting this on the outer corner of my eyelid with a 242 flat shader brush from MAC and on the inner corner too. I'm leaving the center area of our eyelid blank because we're going to go in with a gold in a minute and pop that right in the center. So you want to really build this up. I don't show it all, obviously, because it just takes forever, but I literally go back three or four times and just pack this color on. You could even use a little Fix Plus if you want to pack it on more metallic. And then just to blend it out, we're using Stars and Rockets for MAC. We're going to put this with a small blending brush from Sonia Keshik. It's just tiny, so it fits it right down deep in the crease, and we're just going to do that to buff out that Caitlyn Rose color. You can't really tell in the video. I don't know why it's not showing up very well, but it does help that color blend out into the crease. Now I'll go back with that E40 once again and just blend everything together. I do this almost every time I apply a new color just to make sure everything's blended. Now we're going back with that same 242, use the other side of it, and this So Hollywood highlighter from Anastasia. Ugh, it's so pretty. We're going to use it on our face later, so I figured why not use it as our gold on our eyes just to tie everything together. So just stamp this in the middle of the eyelid and then kind of rub back and forth to blend it into the purples. And you might have to go back and add more purple again later just so everything pops. Now we're going to add some Trooper Liner from Kat Von D. This is a liquid liner. You can do just a regular line like I'm doing here, or you can decide to wing it out like I did. I went back and decided I wanted winged liner, so I went ahead and added that. It just makes the look a little bit more dramatic. And then I'm going to go back and clean up to sharpen up that line with some Fast Response Eye Cream and a Q-tip. It just really sharpens up that edge and makes it look really nice and crisp. Now I'm going to go ahead and coat my lashes with some Extended Play Gig of Black Lash from MAC. Whatever mascara you have is totally fine because we're going to go in with some Demi Wispies from Ardell anyways. I love these lashes and they're super cheap. So I've been getting a lot of questions on how to apply lashes so I thought I'd show a longer clip of it today. But as soon as you put your glue on, let it dry for almost like 45 seconds to a minute. And then you just want to take a pair of tweezers and set the lashes down on your lash line like this and then just tack each corner in. As soon as you let the glue get tacky, I swear that will change your life. It makes it so much easier. And sorry, apparently I forgot I was recording this and got totally out of the frame, but yeah, that's what makes it so easy. 
Next, we're going to go in and prep our skin. I'm using MAC Lightful Sea Softening Lotion. This is an amazing product. I need more time to talk about it, and I meant to in my favorites video, and I completely forgot. So next month, I will definitely tell you guys all about it. And then I'm just going to pop this Step 1 by Makeup Forever. This is the mattifying one. I'm going to pop this right in my T-zone area just because I am super oily there, so that helps me not get oily throughout the day. Now I'm going to mix together L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Liquid Becca Opal Highlighter together just because when you mix in that highlighter it does make your skin look nice and glowy but you still have that matte formula in there so it's still really long wearing on the skin. So I'm just buffing that all over with a Real Techniques foundation brush. Now I'm going in with that same concealer we used under our eyebrows earlier and I'm going to put this under the eyes. This is going to help conceal our under eye area as well as brighten under the eyes and make us look really wide awake. And I'm just buffing this out with another brush from Real Techniques. This is the contour brush. Lately I've been going back in with my favorite MAC powder. This is the Studio Fix powder. And I've just been dusting this all over. This is actually a Real Techniques blush brush, I think. I just couldn't find my Kabuki brush. But I've been putting this everywhere all over my face, aside from under the eyes. Because under eyes we're going to use this powder by MAC. It's called Infosize. It's a shaping powder. And I'm popping this under the eyes to keep that area nice and bright and awake looking. I'm just using this little e.l.f. brush. It's actually a blush brush, but it's so cheap. It's like $3, and it's perfect shape for setting under eyes with powder. Now we're going to go in and kind of bronze it up a little bit. I'm using Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I love this for fair girls because we can go in and use it without going overboard. It's just really nice and subtle. Still gives us a nice glow without looking too orange. And I'm using a MAC brush. I forget the exact name, so I'll definitely link it below. I love this for bronzer. I remembered I hadn't set my eyebrows, so I'm going back in with some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and I'm just setting my brows. Sometimes I do that later so that if any powder gets in them, I can kind of comb it out with this gel. Then we're going to hop back to the face. I'm using Blush Baby from MAC. It's a nice pink. And I'm just applying that with an F10 powder blush brush from Sigma all over the apples of my cheeks, and then just kind of buff it into your bronzer. Now we're going to do our lower lash line. I'm taking Stars and Rockets, which is the lighter purple we used earlier in the crease area. And I'm using a fluffy brush. This is a 217 for MAC, which is nice because since it's fluffy, it kind of smokes out that lower lash line with the purple. And then we're going back with Caitlin Rose, the darker foiled purple shade. And we're using that on a pencil brush. And you want to keep that even closer to the lashes and just buff it the same way you did with the other purple. Now we're going to go ahead and do some mascara on the lower lash line. If you don't do this, you don't have to, but I always do just because I have eyeshadow all over my lashes, so I like to kind of coat them with a quick layer of mascara. Now I'm going in with Subculture from MAC. It's a nice nude lip pencil. Since our eyes are so bright today, I wanted to do a nude lip, so I'm using Blinkity Lipstick from MAC with that Subculture liner. And then we're going to go back and highlight with that So Hollywood highlight we used on our eyes. I'm using the brush that Anastasia launched with it, and it's really nice because you can put it right where you want it, right on the tops of the cheeks, on top of your lips too, and on the inner corners of the eyes, I'm using a Sigma Angled Shader Brush. Then you're going to go ahead and set your face. I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro Setting Spray, and then you are all done. I hope you guys like this, and thank you so much for watching.